Little Birth Vegan here back with another episode of Thrones Britannia, the Kingdom of Kirkian. We are on turn 447, and this is episode 86. This series has been going for quite some time, uh, and it's not doing too well, actually. Uh, it's probably my worst running series at the moment um, for number of views, because long series don't tend to keep people's that attention, um, at least on my channel. Uh, so... Uh, this may be the last couple of episodes after we defeat, uh, Mercia. Uh, we may just go ahead and call our quits. I don't know. I, w I would like to see it through until we could conquer all of, of England. Um, especially the Anglo-Saxons, put an end to them. But I have a feeling, um, that would take me a while, so... Uh, probably after we take uh, Mirche here, we will uh, we'll call it quits. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. We'll see. I do have some ideas for some other series, and um, so anyway, on with the show. Let's see. We don't want to do any of those research because it's not that good. Um, I don't care about my research rate, so that's that. I don't care about getting less income that's for sure so I guess we're, I guess we're done with the research I, I've forgotten um, we do have somebody ready to level up Gartnate himself oh is this who is which Gartnate is this he's a governor he's just another Gartnate <laughs> just another Gartnate he is the governor of North Mirche okay so we'll go ahead and give him some more scribe that's good he's in Snottingham all right very good Okay, so let's take a look at our armies here. What do we have? Gartnate the King has taken Mathrafal. And he is resting his troops up. Um, our bravery is legendary. We have Dubtech and the Conquerors. They are resting after their last conquest. We have this guy here who's trying to cause a little trouble, but my god. Seriously? You don't have a chance in... Hades to do anything to me. This guy is going to be scouting. Um, I want to run him down to here. Our is see if I can see Buckingham here. Yeah, I just don't want to get caught. Stay tight there. I guess we're okay. Alright, so we can take Buckingham, maybe Oxnaforda, and then we'll start tearing into their back country here. He does have a 20 stack over here. The men are eager to get to He'll take Irmertha. Irmertha. Excuse me. Alright. Let's pop into the port here. He can't quite get to us. Alright. Can we get you on land? No. Not without getting some nasty attrition there. Let's see. Let's pop you out. Now can I pop you in there? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, and so then we'll cross that bridge and we'll take on this guy. Yeah, excellent. That'd be great. We'll smash him. Um, Drayton here is ready to level up something. Martyr's Mint. Ooh. That looks amazing. We'll take that. Uh, I probably have enough to start another full army if I really wanted to. Uh, where would I want to do that? Not here. I want to do it where they get a bonus to their uh, yeah armor, like Tamworth Ridge here. I could convert this to a Sow Terrain. I'll do that and convert this to a Grand Abbey Market. Oh wow! Or to a Selly to Grand Abbey. I'll have to do the Grand Abbey Market. We'll have to wait until next turn for that. All right, so let's get these two guys. They are both ready, but he can't quite make it. He can't quite make it up there. None shall stand against us. Let's pop this guy over there. They'll fall before keep, us. keep him running before us. Fit. All right. I don't know why he can't. Uh, he just can't. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy under siege. So he can't pop another army up here. All right. There we go. Maintain that siege. Hopefully they don't come out after us. I don't think they will, but maybe they will. Who knows? 
Just never can tell with the AI sometimes. Can I attack him? No, ah, not quite. Alright. All right. I'm gonna move him over to Scrabblesburg. Nah, we'll just keep him. Yeah. Let's move on over to Scrabblesburg. I'm gonna get on these roads if I can. He's gonna come down here towards Hereford. I would just heal him up, but we'll just move him on. It's time to move on. I don't want to interfere with Gwyneth because we don't have a military access treaty with them. But I think I can move through uh, these guys' territory with no problem. So let's move through there. You go ahead and pop in here. There we go. And you will move up here as well. There we go. We're going to come down here after Denifer. There is a 20 stack up here. Wow. I forgot about him. And another 20 stack. Ooh. Eee. Gad. Alright, so got those two going. Got those two going. Who do we have left? Has not moved. Ayla. He is hurt. He needs to move into a town. Let's go ahead and get pop him in there. There we go. And the Irish Peacekeepers. He's in good shape for now. Okay. All right, so I guess it's an end turn now. Uh, let's go ahead and go into <clears throat> this. Let's see about Hilberg here. They have long been our friends, and they are they're actually they're great friends with us. And Gwyneth is friends, but they're deteriorating. Um, hmm. They are deteriorating. I'm afraid they're going to jump on my back at some point. Okay. Anglo-Saxons, still at war with us. Mirche, of course, still at war with us. Okay, so... I hope you do not plan to waste my... Peace Treaty? No, I don't want a Peace Treaty with you. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and look at our damaged buildings. Let's see what we got left. How much is it to repair this? Whew, it's expensive. But that would give us... Oh, it's a conversion building, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and repair that cloth. And I'll repair this Grand Manor farm as well. There we go. And we will end the turn. Let's see what uh, Anglo-Saxons do. They're going to come over and take one of our ports. Yep. So I knew that was going to happen. He's going to try to take Brug, yep. Ah, stupid idiot. Oh, he did come out and attack us. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm fine with it, because that makes it easier for us to take this town. He's got lots and lots of spearmen. Like, mostly spearmen. And, of course, I've got a lot of spearmen as well. I don't have any high-tier troops, actually. This army, he may not have been as foolish as I was letting on. He's got quite a few archers, which will hinder our archers. I do have one cav and a catapult, so that gives me a little bit of a benefit here. But we're going to go ahead and fight it, because I think we can win it. It will hurt us. <coughs> Excuse me. It will hurt us, but uh, I think we can... Don, of course, can, uh, he, can, he can pull it out. He can beat Savvy, even though Savvy's got a much cooler helmet. <clears throat> it's not always about the helmet, you know? It's not always about the helmet. Sometimes it's about the man wearing the helmet. Sometimes it's about the man behind the mouse. I hope that's the case this time. I wonder if his his swordsmen outclass our swordsmen. Surely our swordsmen outclass his spearmen. Huh? <laughs> that's a true test, I guess. We'll see. <clears throat> we shall see. We shall see. Attacking us. That's just amazing. Okay, well, our catapults will start shooting straight away. See if, see if we can do as much damage to these things as possible. Alright, let's take a look at his infantry right quick. They have 5236 for melee skill and melee damage. My swordsmen have 59.43. Okay, so they're better. And then my axemen 
are uh, 4228 and 5634. So these lower class axemen aren't that great, but the retinue axemen are really good. Okay. Okay. So his lower class spearmen, 4228, are better are actually not as good as my lower class spearmen. Okay, that's interesting. His male thanes, 5638 versus my 60 or 43. Okay, so my, my swords are running a little better. I think overall we're better. Range 173. My range is 173. His damage is uh, 30 and accuracy 28. My damage is 35 and accuracy 25. So he's a little more accurate, but my guys do a little more damage. So, okay, very good. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. All right, so that's a road, not a river. I was wondering about that. I thought it was a road. Let's go ahead and just set our guys up right here with the catapult. Luckily, all four catapults are active. All right, so I was wondering about that. We're going to get our swordsmen in the front line and our axemen, just like so. We'll get these spears. We're going to use them to flank because they're not that great. We'll use one unit of spears to reinforce. We'll get a cavalry to flank behind him. <clears throat> we'll get our archers. Uh... Just like so. Spearman. With the exception of these crossbowmen, I think I might put them... I've been doing them the same, but I think I might try something different with them, like a flanking maneuver <clears throat> with them, see if they can do something different. And then, of course, the general will be here with the fight. Just like so. No, I don't want to hit the veiled, mailed spearmen. I want to hit the things. Let's hit those guys. Okay, here we go. Let's hit these things first. The enemy approaches. They look awesome. They look awesome, all right. <clears throat> Is it going to be enough to beat us, though? <laughs> I hope not. Incoming, boys. Oh! How'd your shields work against that? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I need to get my infantry line in place here. Let's get these guys firing at them. Who are they shooting at? Shields? Let's get them firing at them. <clears throat> Normally don't slow it down, but... I felt like things are getting out of my control here. All right, let's spin these guys up there. Move them up there. All right. Catapult's still shooting. Getting them out. Let's hit them a little bit. Our spearmen are taking the brunt of that, so that's good. That means we are fine there. General is under attack. General's under attack. Let's get our bowmen firing at their bowmen. Let's get these spearmen up here. Okay. These guys are hanging in there, but just barely. Alright, these guys are coming towards us. Let's go ahead and shoot at the general. You go out that way. You go out that way. You go out that way. Alright, you go there, you go there. You go there. Alright, let's get that. These guys back here hitting these. Get those guys. Get this freaking general out of here. Okay. You go up there, you're gonna have to hit them. You're gonna have to help there. You come over here. Who's running? Oh crap! 
We had a collapse. We had a collapse. Archers fire there. Come through here. Come through that gap. Right through the gap. Through the gap. Through the gap. Come on, boys. Right through the gap. Hammer and anvil. Come on now. Right through. Oh, God. They're not riding through the gap. They're not riding through the gap at all. They got all hung up on screen. Okay. Alright, those guys are in trouble. Let's get these guys. Come on back. You just run on, but you run out of there. Okay, Bowman. Get those guys. Alright. Oh crap, they're hurt. getting hurt over here. You hit them guys. Crossbows fired in their backs. Alright. You hit these guys. You hit those guys. You hit those axemen, please. Alright, those guys are running. Okay, good. Spearman versus Spearman. We're about even matched up over there. Just keep hitting them. These guys are overwhelmed. Hit these guys. Ah, oh, my general's getting tore up. I'm afraid he's gonna die. Ah, uh, don't turn tail and run. Come on, guys. Okay. These guys are all fighting. Close in on them. Let's roll up this flank. We're strong on the left flank. Our right flank's collapsing, however. You fight them. Finish these guys off, please. Ah. No! God dang it. I knew this cavalry charge would be the death of him. Dang. Who was this? I don't even remember who it was. Who was the general? Donakers. I don't even know who that, remember who that is. Yeah. You guys fire at them. No, you fire at these guys. Fire at them. Okay. You guys hit them. You hit them in the backs. Come on, guys. You chase them. Keep fighting them. Alright. Go after them. <clears throat> Alright. Fire on them, please. Yeah. Finish them. You fire at them. Keep running. Keep rolling this flank up. You know what? Come down here and get this guy. Take this guy out. You take these. You take those. Get in there. Who are we fighting here? Spearman versus Warriors. Okay, we got this. And this is their general as well. Spearmen are still fighting those guys. Tooth and nail. Alright, those guys are all broken. That's good. Where's our general at? Or what's left of him? He's still chasing guys down. Okay. I could use a nice cavalry charge over here, but that's not going to happen. So I'm bringing him down here. You guys fire there. You guys fire up here. Guess we ch choke that guy out, finally. Alright. We're all clumped up, that's not good. Let's see if we can jump in their backs. There we go. Ow, we're getting some friendly fire there. Male Thanes are exhausted. My guys are shaking. That's not good. 
Oh, we broke them. Good. Okay. Moving into the next ones. Next ones. Hit those guys. Also male things. They're wavering. Strike them. Strike those guys. There we go. Oh, we got them. We got them. Woo! My gosh. What a mess. What a mess. Man, I tell you. That was some heavy freaking losses, dude. That was some heavy losses. <laughs> you would have smarted. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can get clean up a little bit of this, maybe. That way when we attack them, they won't have anything left to attack us with. I hope. We can just roll right over them. Take those guys out. Take these guys out. Our archers are doing a good job down there. There we go. And... Yow. Looks like we are about to win us a town. At the cost. Heavy, heavy cost. Pyrrhic victory, in fact. I fielded 1798. Left with 818. Wow. What did we lose here? We lost our general. I think it's the only full unit we lost. Our swordsman did a ton of work. We look at the spearman unit. He did a great job as well. This guy kept breaking, so he's not he wasn't that useful. Our crossbowman did a great job as well. Yeah, everybody did. Everybody did a great job. Their their biggest hitters were their male things, of course, and then the spearman unit held, led by the uh, general. All right. So we won. We lost our general. That sucks. He was level zero though, so it's not too bad. We will occupy that. And I'll have to give a general to that army. Alright. Settlement sacked. Okay, well he didn't take it. That's interesting. Mel Martin. He is ready to be back into action. Alright. Piety and prosperity. Very good. All regions. That's excellent. Okay. So he decided to jump in the garrison. That's smart of him. Um, so. The men are eager to get to can I get both of those guys over there? Glorious. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get. He's a level zero. He's a level zero. For the glory of the gales. We'll let the guy with the catapult do the actual siege. So he don't have to walk as far. All right, we're going to go ahead and do all of those siege towers. He's going to walk up and help as much as possible. Okay. He's going to go ahead and take some quartermaster. There we go. And who else leveled up? The Norse Noose. All right. He leveled up as well. That's good. Mel Brickty, the Irish Peacekeepers. Quartermaster. I can tell you, quartermasters, it's just great. It helps you out a lot. Okay, uh, what was I going to do for conversions? There were some conversions over here I needed to get done, but I didn't have the money. Should I go ahead and do that, or should I just raise another army? You know? Here at Tamworth Ridge. I'm thinking just raise another army. Because we're going to need all the armies we can get to get the Anglo-Saxons under our thumb. Look at all those juicy targets here. Oh my god, we are going to go right to the coast. He's going to go here, 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 and then here, and then here. All right straight to the coast. Let's cut them right in half. Oh boy, that's beautiful. Gloucaster, we can get our treasury, which gives us a lot more income and more trade. However, we really need to do these conversions. So let's get our Grand Abbey Market. That will help us a lot as well. And it gives us an additional um, estate, which is good. Alright, so we're going to move him up here. Like so. And he's going to come down here as well. Shall stand against us. 
All right, I want to get as close as possible so he'll be reinforcements. He's going to come in and fight. Gartnate. Oh, yeah. Gartnate and Malisu versus Wolfric. He is... Oh, yeah, he's going to get wrecked. Now, of course, Gartnate, he's in pretty good shape, but Malisu's army is a little tattered. But I think we can still do it. I think we can still do it because all his troops are all half strength he's he's been just recruited them so I think we can do this just fine we're gonna manually attack them this is the last big army uh, Mirche has fielded at the moment so um, I'm sure they'll pop another big one up but uh, once we get this thing and it's uh it's proper that Gartnate the king uh, leaves the killing blow here on Mirche's final arm here uh, so I'm looking forward to this hopefully we don't get hurt too bad I don't think we will he does have a couple of nice uh, cavalry units so I have to be careful of that all right so my reinforcements are coming in behind him so that's good let's get our catapults right here we'll get our swordsmen we don't have any spearmen in this army that's interesting. Okay. And then we'll get our archers right there. We're going to get our cab over here. Another cab over here. And then, of course, coordinate in the back. And I think we're ready. Swordsman, move on up. I want the catapults to be focusing on royal huskarls. Do I want husk or axemen? 5042. Oh, yeah. Husk girls. Ooh, they're all tough. Okay. Do they have shields? Yes, they do, but they're on their backs. So we'll focus our archers on them as well. He's got some mailed horsemen out there. Scouts out there. Okay. I don't know where his archers are, but I think we'll be okay. All right. Archers, come on up. Cavalry, you just, you just wipe those guys out right now. You just go wipe those guys. You guys, come out here. Okay. Let's slow it down again and get all of these guys coming up on their backs. All right, and then I think Gartnate could probably win this all on his own, to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get our archers firing at the Huskarls. Where are they? All right, and let these guys fire at the archers. There we go. There we go. All right, we're finishing those guys off. Let's get out of here. Spears are coming. See, they flee before our might. All right, so these guys are good. Our hidden units have been discovered. All right. Let's hit those guys a little bit. Hit those guys. Who are, who are they fighting? Mailed spearmen. Versus Axemen. Okay, we got that. Huskarls, go after them. Who uh, who else we got here? As far as them. Alright. We got 29 mailed horsemen there. Let's get them. Spearmen. Archers. Hit these guys. Oh, 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 oh. Getting hit. Getting hit. Let's hit these spearmen. Ow, rats. Not spearmen. Archers, what I meant to say. <laughs> but we hit the axemen instead. That's okay. We'll just pull through them. We got the mass, I think, to mostly pull through them. Get those guys engaged. There we go. 
General is under attack. General's under attack. Let's get General back. Let's get under, over here into the trees. All right, you go up here. What are you guys doing? Fire at them. Long Axeman. All right, so we're doing good there. These guys are all piled in there. Let's go ahead and fire at them. Come over here. Need to get these guys all piled in. Hit the Axeman. Go after the Javelins. Okay. Okay, you guys fire at these guys. Just like that. Okay. Who's this? Mailed horsemen. They're still running the mouth. Back there. Alright, you guys get them. Get them. Alright, let's get this other horseman unit up here. Okay. Get in their backs. Alright, you get in their backs. I think we got this. Get out. Get out. Okay. Get over there. You keep them. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Alright. Let's finish them. Let's finish them. Finish them off, boys. Get those horsemen before they escape. Alright. Let's get those guys. I remember my first victory. Alright, you get them. We're going to be able to catch them. Heck yeah. Okay, good. Get those guys. And then get these guys. There we go. Then over here, I think we got all this all cleaned up already. Heck yeah. Wow. Awesome. Bye bye, Mirche. Bye bye. Lost quite a few of our cavalry and quite a few axemen, but I think overall did okay. Our swordsman didn't get that much battle. This guy at all here, he didn't get any kills. What's up with that, bud? He's just sitting back, relaxing. Guard Knight didn't get to wet his sword with blood. That's unfortunate. But I didn't want him to die in like a stupid accident. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right. We will occupy our town of Brug. All right. Very good. None shall stand against and Brug is... Does it need to be repaired? No. Can we convert this? Just go and dismantle that. We don't need a thrall market. All right. So, that's ours. Den of Fear. It's got two armies coming after it. Oh, Hilberg's got it. That's all right. We'll bring them on down anyway. Did I cross through their land? No, that's... Gilberg's land, okay. Alright, so we'll take them and then we'll hit this and finish this guy off here. Okay. This guy, he is resting up. Defenders of the Hearth, Mel Martin. He's gonna rest up. He's good. Alright, let's just look at her list here. God's Champions, how are you doing? You are ready to move out as well. We'll move you through Scrabblesburg. We're going to move him on over here to finish these guys off. Start pushing pressure in the Anglo-Saxon lands. All right. Irish Peacekeepers doing nothing, of course. That's good. And then the Conquerors. Dubtech and the Conquerors. What are you doing? Um... I don't want to trespass in Gwyneth's lands. So we'll just have to go this way. Move on out. 
swing around the end here. <laughs> we have to make a long turnaround. He might jump on Care Gwent for his own purposes, you know? He probably wants them as well. Okay, Glockaster, you need to sit and wait a couple turns. You need to get, get all healed up. Tad. Tad. It's a hard word to say. Get you some Quartermaster, my friend, so you can run faster, jump higher. No Martin. Okay. Peacekeepers. Swift Eagles. What do you want to do? Oh, you're going to sit and wait. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're going to end this turn and then we'll end this episode probably. See what the Anglo Saxons do. Yeah. They're going to take our coastal lands. I figured that's what they would do. Noble birth. Carlos gave birth to slain. Heroes reborn. All the attrition, attrition, attention, praise, and power heaped upon courageous victors increases their influence in all areas. Oh, Donald. Good job, buddy. Okay. Um, let's see. Gwyneth declared war on Mirche. All right. Took him long enough. We lost... One of our provinces down here to these guys. I, I figured that was coming. Um, I'd love to pop an army out and just smash these guys. But Impossible. they're probably... The Shadow of Death is probably fully formed, so... War is what we do best. So he took Denifir. That's, that's what I figured would happen. Um, let's come on down here Still with him. None shall stand against us. Come through here with him. We're going to come down and face this 20 stack. If we can. He's, he's got his army spawned. Alright. We do need to take the last bit of his strength here. So we'll take that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Glockaster. Is, is doing good. Okay. Let him heal up there. Care Gwent is probably going to be besieged by um, those one guys, like I said. Let's see. Should I go for Bedenford, which is pottery, or Sancta Albinus? Oh, definitely Sancta Albinus. <clears throat> Nice. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. And then we're going to take Hertford. And then we'll, we'll take Clemsonfurt. And then Meldoon. And then whatever else we can take. But that's the plan for them. They are making their stuff. It's good. Let's convert this to a sour terrain. All right. And over here, start moving these guys down south. Yep. Eager to get to it. These guys are all moving down south. The men are eager to get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and level these guys up while we're in a province that can. No use squandering that opportunity twice like I did last time. Okay. So they're good. Alright, so let's go ahead and move them down there. These guys are all leveled up already. Let's go ahead and move them down here. I'd like to convert this to something. It's expensive though. Alright. Now, Regan is ready to level up. He is a general for the Pictish Beasts. Alright. Very good. And Ayla, God's Champions, leveled up as well. And you need a wife, don't you? What is she? Renowned. Ooh, gives her command and governance. Yeah, take her hand, buddy. Ooh. Got a good one. All right. <clears throat> so he's also ready to level up, and we'll give him some champion. There we go. And who else? Donakin of the Norse Noose. They are laying siege, right? Still one turn for the last siege 
engineer. Ooh, this is going to be a tough battle. He's got a catapult in there. Interesting. Interesting. Never fought against a siege that had a catapult as well. Hmm. I only have one catapult. So we're going to have to play it smart. Oh man, he's got a lot of calf though, so that's good. <coughs> Why is that good? Because <coughs> can't really use them that well in a siege battle. And so I think we'll be okay. Alright, so we're going to continue the siege there. I want as many siege towers as I can get. Alright, Lin it. I'm not going to fix that yet because I don't know that that's going to uh, stick around long enough. Alright, so any other armies need to be moved? Norse Noose? No. Swift Eagles? No. Our Peacekeepers? No. Did I say Peacekeepers? No, Peacekeepers. Let's end the turn and then we'll end this episode for reals this time. Oh, we got a Rebellion. It's too bad. Look at him. Look at him. Trying to rally. Oh my gosh, he struck out against Gwyneth. That's hilarious. Gwyneth took him back. <clears throat> He's going back to his land. He's like, I'm done. Wow. That's interesting. You don't want to join the war against the Anglo-Saxons and gain more territory? He's not war hungry like I am. Oh, Hilberg. Look at them. They are jumping on every opportunity, I tell you what. <clears throat> jumping on every opportunity. Oh, public order decline. Come on, man. Alright, let's get this out of here. Kill those guys. I wish I could find a way to get this public order under control over here. I mean, my gosh. I could get rid of this tithe barn. That would help. <laughs> it's got a governor. Rurik. What would happen if I did, if I took this tithe barn out? It's forty percent food production though, and forty percent income, so that would hurt me really badly. Uh, I could I could lower taxes basically. Lower the taxes and see what it got me. Maybe after the war's over, <clears throat> which will probably be off camera because this is probably one of the last episodes last couple of episodes he's got that nasty 20 stack there okay I could finish off Mirche or I could bring these guys down I think I want to bring these guys down to finish off Mirche <clears throat> so let's bring them down let's get him in here our orders are to why are you trespassing when you don't have to? I guess the road it goes to his territory. Alright. We're going to move all these guys down here. We're going to take out this 20 stack. We're going to take care of Gwent. And that will be the end of that. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, throw me some likes. Leave me some comments. As always, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.